And Dr. Reverend Trent Frederick Haynes says he's not looking to fill the shoes of Jesse Jackson, but instead stand on his shoulders and continue the work Jackson started in 1971. Praise and worship. Lift every voice and, and the continued fight for civil rights has now led one of the pioneers of that movement, Reverend Jesse Jackson. I am somebody. To tap his mentee, a Texas pastor, to lead a coalition Jackson has spearheaded since 1971. Uh, Jesse Jackson, for me, has just meant so much. In a Chicago TV News exclusive, I spoke with Reverend Dr. Frederick D. Haynes III for his first one-on-one -on -one interview after officially taking the helm as president and CEO of the Rainbow Push Coalition. I have spoken a number of times for the Rainbow Push Convention, and that was enough for me. And then when he made the phone call and asked me to, you know, consider succeeding him, that's just over the top. The husband to his wife of 35 years and father to their one daughter was born in 1960 in Dallas, where he's served as senior pastor of Friendship West Baptist Church since 1983, growing the membership from 100 to now over 13,000 members. Haynes met Jackson in 1981, learning all he can from the civil rights icon, a mentorship he says paved the way for his own work that he hopes to bring to Chicago and beyond. What he has established by way of a foundation has also provided a roadmap. And while Haynes is the new head of Rainbow Push effective immediately, he makes it very clear there's no replacing the man who started this movement more than 50 years ago. He's achieved iconic status now. He's a legend in our time. When the history books are written, it can well be said that he will stand as one of the greatest leaders in American history. Well, Reverend Haynes says he will continue to live in Dallas and remain his church's senior pastor, but says the Rainbow Push headquarters will stay in Chicago, calling it part of the fabric of this city. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.